Richard Dunn's paper. This is the critical thing here that presented by Andrew. You take the one thing away. I have a question away. from the last paper. Do you think a preemptive scheduler such as a rat hole sign would help? <laughs> um, <laughs> So the, another, the difference between this, between the monolithic operating systems uh, um, parallel, uh, the, the difference between the monolithic operating system and the graduate computer science course is that you know you can have applications coming back and haunt you afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> should, should, should you decide to, to choose a, a preemptive uh, schedule? So you know. That's <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, the next paper is PIM prethinking Bohr monitors, and the author is Richard Dunn, and I'm just a uh, a mouthpiece, so you should uh, direct your flames to him. Uh, so the problem we're trying to, well, so just a little bit of introduction first. So everyone should know that a whore monitor, so monitors are in general are just some sort of synchronization device or mechanism. <laughs> you know, you've got some processing threads. <laughs> 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 So you've got some critical sections, you know, some data structures you want to keep consistent, yada, yada, yada. So a fairly natural generalization of this is to use, uh, uh, is to synchronize whores instead of just using whore monitors to provide uh, synchronization mechanisms. So uh, that key insight gave rise to PIMP, which is a general protocol for whore management. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the, the receiver's here. Ah, <laughs> So what are we interested in doing? What are the characteristics of this program? So we'd like to provide you we'd like to provide universal access. <laughs> so what, what this all really means is that all clients are serviced. So we're, we're interested in avoiding starvation. However, we're not we're not interested in enforcing fairness. So you know, even like round robin or first come first serve, any of these service that's disciplines will work fine. Uh, this is actually critical to maintain a pool of available whores because allocating these things dynamically, you know, you gotta go out and find one. <laughs> we, all, we all know how hard that is. Uh, right. Whatever Richard's saying in the third point there. <laughs> <laughs> so what were some of the design goals that motivated our work? Well, we're good system students, so we had read Lampson's Hints for System Design, so clearly you want to make the common case fast. <laughs> this is just common sense, right? You're spending 90% of your time with 10% of the whores. <laughs>
know, have a couple of NSF grants pending, and we'll see how those go. So that works out. Maybe we'll, if you I'll came with your own funding. It, it was <laughs> easier during the Clinton era, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Are the wars vulnerable to the MS outlook virus? Not that much the virus, but yeah, the virus is our concern. For <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>